Hello, people of grace. Today, in our Pastoral Connect, I want to talk about being a kept keeper. A kept keeper. We are winding down Ecclesiastes in our weekly worship services. And as we head into that last Sunday, just want to mention three things briefly. Number one, if we want to be kept keepers, what does that mean? A kept keeper is a guarded guard. Not guarded like guarding himself, but a protected protector. And for us to really fulfill the role that God has for us, and it's a beautiful role, we have to connect on some deep, directly experiential level with Jesus' heart to protect us, to keep us. In John 17, uh, verse 12, as Jesus prays that the Father would keep and protect us, Jesus says that while he was on earth, he guarded those that were his. He guards us. So we have to trust that Jesus is a man of his word and that he guards us. From that position of trust and assurance and faith, we are then challenged, since we are kept, since we are guarded, we are protected, that we would keep guard or protect the deposit of life that he has put into us. Paul says this to Timothy as Paul is winding down his journey and mentoring Timothy. He says, Timothy, keep the deposit that Christ has put into you. Guard and protect it. So when we take Jesus at his word, that he devotes his power and energy to protect our souls, then we can from that not guarded in a bad way, but that protected, relaxed, peaceful, trusting place, put ourselves out there to be protectors and guards for others. That is how we show that we value and guard what he has put into us. And as Solomon wraps up Ecclesiastes, he says this, guarding God's commandments, fearing, reverencing him, and guarding, keeping, protecting his commandments is the whole duty of man. But Solomon says a little more bluntly, it's what mankind is for. It's the whole of humanity. And when we look at Genesis chapter 2, that's true. We were created to protect this world and the people in it. So my challenge for all of us is that we would deeply feel how protected we are so that we don't need to be so protected and sheltered, but we can, but can become protectors and shelters for other people. That is the whole reason we're here in the first place. It is more blessed to give than receive, but we can only give what we have first received. When we trust that Jesus is guarding, protecting, and keeping us, we can become guards, protectors, keepers, of others. And that's an encouraging thought.